Hi, this is Lisa Cato with the Archaeology Podcast Network at EAA in Glasgow, and I am with... Uh, Tom Booth. Great. And what organization or campus are you with? Uh, I work at the Natural History Museum in London. Really cool. What do you do there? Uh, I'm involved in a study looking at uh, ancient DNA, human ancient DNA, trying to uh, basically look at how uh, the uh, human genome in Britain has evolved uh, through time, through natural selection, particularly in response to uh, uh, um, big changes in subsistence uh, like the Neolithic. So looking at markers for lactose tolerance, for resistance to disease, things like that, and see how that's changed through time. And also looking at uh, migrations as well, and ancestry, uh, how uh, often Britain's been, uh, well, not invaded, but how often there's been migrations into Britain and quite significant population change because of migrations as well. That's really cool. And I see you're carrying a poster. So did you do a poster about that or something else? Uh, no, this is about something else. Uh, so probably the reason why I got this job is that I, I did my PhD looking at uh, bone microstructure and how it gets degraded by bacteria. And uh, there's this theory that, um, so what most archaeological bone has these uh, tiny little tunnel, microscopic tunnels inside it. Um, and it's caused by bacteria. And there's this theory that the bacteria isn't the soil bacteria they're getting an attacker, it's the uh, bacteria associated with uh, uh, putrefaction that actually escape out an individual's gut, go into the bones and start to degrade the proteins. Um, so what I did for my, for my PhD was look at how uh, bacteria with attack varies amongst archaeological bones and figure out whether it's likely to be related to uh, early post-mortem rites that would affect the way the bacteria interact with the bone. And kind of, um, so yeah, so looking at the way that funerary, different funerary treatments might uh, affects the way that uh, the bacteria attack the bone. And uh, one of the things that's come out with this is that, so the, there's a significantly large group of uh, burials from Britain dating to the Bronze Age that uh, don't have any other, have only little amounts of tunneling around, hardly any tunneling. And the only real parallel for this kind of signature uh, uh, in, in, from the kind of environments these bodies come from uh, mummies. So it looks like the, there was kind of a in the Bronze Age in Britain, people were mummifying bodies and then uh, curating them for a while above ground, then burying them, and then the preserved soft tissue eventually degrades away because of the climate in Britain isn't particularly good for preserved soft tissue, so it just it just all falls apart, yeah. So it's uh, looking at those kind of processes and using this, this uh, method of looking at bone diagenesis to figure out how the sort of taphonomy of burials afterwards, yeah. Look at how they've been uh, how they've been affected by bacteria. Yeah, that's really cool. Awesome. Yeah, I enjoy it. Nice. Uh, there's not any other people who do it these, uh, these days, but uh, yeah, I have a good time. And it got me this DNA job, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's always great. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, it's keeping me employed for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking with us. Oh, sorry. Right. Thank you.